Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Brown Eyes Outside with Brown Eyes Love Reading. How are you doing today, Scorpio? We are expecting rain today, this evening, so I decided to come out here and get my videos out uh, in nature here. How are you doing today, Scorpios? Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, this video is going to be playing on Thursday, and so by then, my Scorpio members will have a new video uploaded for you. I'm working on the live now. I may do a Scorpio live on my other channel, and then come back over here and do the members only uh, live over here, okay? So just hit your notification bell. Uh, to all so that you know when I do that. Thank you so much for rocking with me, Scorpio. I appreciate each and every one of you. So we are outside. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. You see the sun is not out. It's not hot. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. It is it's beautiful just like you, Scorpios. I was, uh, I was in the YouTube streets, okay? And I just saw the title. And the title... Now, disclaimer, if you don't want to hear me talk, this ain't the channel for you. You can't come over here and tell me what to say. I mean, God dang, you want me to read these cards and I got to talk, right? So then, all right then, it takes talking, okay? I'm just saying. See, we're not all about the uh, love, 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 love. I mean, we're all about love, but it's so much more than love because if you're not healed, if you're not at peace within yourself, then you're not going to attract love, honey. If you're controlling and demanding, love will run from you. It think you you off, I'm just saying. Been there, done that. I'm just saying it has to be from a heel place. And when you know that the action and the power lies in your hand, then you won't be trying to force it on other people. So anyway, I saw the title. I forgot what, what channel, what I forgot who whose podcast it was, but they was talking about can men love? And I thought that was deep because you would think they're human. Everybody can love, you know, what's the big hype? But it's like it's just been so known that the masculines have been so emotionally unavailable. Um, now, it's not to say masculines won't, in, uh, you know, they won't engage. They won't, you know, be with you. But it's almost like, can a man really love you? Because it just seems like if a man really, really loves, it seems like most of these men, when they, when they claim that they really, really love somebody, they're hurting them. But it's almost like now you have to love the man. It's almost like in order for the relationship to work, the man has to be more in love with the woman. Why is that? So it shows that there is an imbalance. So I'm going to ask you the question. And this is going out to all of my Scorpios, my masculines and my feminines, and even the cross watchers. Can a man really love? Can he? Now we know the feminists can, but check it out. You got some feminists that, that need to heal and they just as, you know, they just as hardcore as the masculines are. I guess anyone, I, 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 and I'm going to just say this, I guess it depends on your walk, where you're at. You know, m maybe some of these masculines has a lot of baggages that they need to address. You know what I'm saying? And maybe they're just carrying it over and over and over. And so they're not giving them, themselves place to heal in order to have something new. Because, you know, men, they hold grudges. They're going to make the future women pay for it. And I guess it's like anybody do, but at least the women usually come around. So that's the question for you guys. Let me know in the comment section. Can a man love? Can they? I mean, can they? I mean, it, it seems like a weird question, don't it? Because you would think everybody loves, but like I said, it just seems like the women, are, the feminines are the ones who are engaging in the love. And so when we have to ask the question, can a man really love you, then there's something wrong. I'm talking about there's really something wrong, y'all, when we got the question, can a man love? <laughs> So let me know in the comments below. So let's tap into your energy, Scorpio. This is another general. We're going to use the uh, seven energies oracle. Can, can a man love? Anybody can love, can't they? I feel like anybody can love. Anybody can love, but it all depends on your emotional state, your mental state. You know, your spiritual state for that matter. Because if not, y'all, I'm just saying which we know they can, but I'm just saying, it just, to we ask the question, it's almost like it's giving all the power to the man, to the masculines, isn't it? Is that how it's supposed to be? It's, it's such an imbalance in these relationships. It's so one-sided. You know, it's really one-sided. 
So let's see. Shout out to my beautiful, amazing Scorpio members, my Patreon members. If you're new to this channel, I am Brown Eyes here at Brown Eyes Intuitions. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please subscribe to this channel, thumbs up this video, and consider becoming a highly favored Scorpio member, okay? So, all right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? What does Scorpio need to know in this current time and space pertaining to their life and love and anything else that's going to help Scorpio motivate or motivate Scorpio to be Scorpio's best, highest self? Okay, so let's see. Beautiful uncage, and I remember this. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful it is indeed. Some of y'all done uh, closed y'all heart off and it's gonna take the right one with the right key. Ooh. Any and everybody can get the Scorpio love, can they Scorpios? Not when you done had enough. But Spirit say, I got the right one that got the key. I got the key. Open up and let me into your heart. Scorpio, I got the key. <laughs> Somebody finna come in and open up your heart, Scorpio. Or maybe you're doing it to them. Mm. Gonna take two of these. Let's see, let's see. It's good. Let's see. All right. Beautiful, Uncaged. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful to allow your heart to open up, Scorpio. This reminds me of a carriage. You know, like Cinderella. Doesn't it look like a pumpkin, a carriage? Is that that Scorpio vibe I feel? Look at the colors. That's that fall autumn color. Looks like a pumpkin, a, a pimped out magical pumpkin. Uncaged, beautiful uncaging here. All right, all right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio? And this is the number 14, so that is a five, change. So it's almost like you're blossoming. Higher view, I remember this card. I ain't seen them in a while, but I remember this. A bird size view, look at you. See that, Scorpio, you know you see things spiritually. See, that's why I always say it, and it's just true, is that tarot should confirm what you know, shouldn't it? It should confirm and bring to clarity what you're already tapped into because it is an individual journey here. That's all tarot should do is to confirm or clarify what spirit is already showing you because of the work that you're putting in for yourself here. See there, but this is, th this is seeing things from a higher perspective, but also from a spiritual perspective. When you see it from a spiritual perspective, you're gonna find out everything you need to know. You're gonna find out everything you need to know, Scorpio. Let me see, do I need one more? Beyond the ordinary. We're gonna take beyond the ordinary because you are beyond the ordinary, honey. You from the Galactic Council of who? We're going to say Rosfarian. Ros, <laughs> galactic Council of Rosfarian is for Scorpio. From Look at all that galactic energy. See my galactic Walmart top? Cosmic. See there? See that skeleton? That is such a Scorpio vibe, ain't it? <laughs> cosmic. It's all about the cosmic. It's all about the celestials. It's all about this spiritual journey here, Scorpio. It's all about it. So let's read these cards real quick. And I'm gonna try to take my time, y'all, cause it's outside. And the vibe feels good, it feels amazing. And I'm so happy to be sharing this with you. So let's see, you got number 45, nine, five. Oh look, you got five, five, nine. See, 40, you got it in reverse, 41 and 14. See, five, five, nine. See, so there is, um, I also see quick elevation like promotions. You know how you, you get promoted here? You don't have to go to all of the courses. You may be promoted. You may be being spiritually promoted here where you're about to take off here because you see this uh, high, a higher view. So it's like, I feel like you are being promoted here, Scorpio. You're going five, five, straight to the nine here. So let's start off with your beautiful uncaging here. Beautiful uncaging here. Something is happening here, Scorpio. Can you feel it? So let me see, what is this beautiful caging? This is energy, okay, this is water. 
It says connection, sexuality, intimacy, birthing, desire, pleasure, feelings, and fluidity. See, this is emotional energy here. So you could tell that that's your heart. Look like a, a juicy tangerine. Y'all remember tangerines? Do they even make tangerines? <laughs> so let's see what it says here. It says the prison of guilt, a need for self-inventory, rigorous honesty, accountability, making amends. It says at this time you're being called to assess where guilt is playing a part in your life. Recognize how it's affecting you and others and address it so you can release yourself from its grip. Guilt is a powerful emotional state capable of transforming difficult situations. It keeps you accountable for your actions when you've done something that causes harm. However, it can also feed a self-sabotaging cycle that fosters codependencies and a distorted sense of personal power. Self-blame can lead to behavior that perpetuate low self-esteem. It says, take a moment now to consider when you have learned, when you have harmed others or yourself, because it's not just about them, because when you harm people, you harm yourself, you do. This knowledge, Scorpio, will free you from the story you tell about uh, it, so you're able to connect with truthful remorse now is the time for rigorous honesty as you take a self-inventory with a natural state of mind. It says you might be taking on a burden that is not even yours to carry. Here we go. Pay attention, take action, and uncage yourself from the prison of your own making. See? Whoever else got something going on, let them handle that, Scorpio, because sometimes you could be, you could end up uh, receiving somebody else's karma because you're enabling them. Ain't that something you be wanting to just, just see? It's like all in moderation here. You know, you can't always save the day because you can end up saving somebody and sacrificing yourself because they're not, never going to learn if, if you're always there. Whatever situation it is, if they're always taken, if, if your mindset, if your circumstances of people, if they're always taken and they bring nothing to you, then it's going to weigh on you. And it's the, the karma that you're weighed down, why they're going to go on and live their life. Why? That's how I do. That's how it is. Are they going to go on and live their life and you sitting here like, did everything work out for you? They're like, yeah, everything is great. But you around here like, oh, well, thanks for telling me. <laughs> they, don't, they don't even have a decent cur curtis courtesy to tell you, you know, things are doing better. No, they just living in it. And you sitting here drained because you didn't let them pack their load on you. So now you have a higher view. Now we went from the water energy. Now, now, let me see, 41. A higher view is light. It says intuition, see, vision, imagination, patience, knowing, perception, and mental states. See? Seeing things for what they really are. Not always taking everything from what your eyes see, but you have to judge it by the spirit, Scorpio, because you know what they say, wolf be in sheep clothing here. The situations are just coming in to tempt you and to test you, but it's also coming in to build you up, and make you stronger. These tests are the only way you're gonna know if, if your intuition is failing you or do you need to do some work. That's how only way you're gonna know is if, if you fail in it or you get caught slacking. I ain't gonna even say fail, I'm just gonna say you, you didn't get the results out of it that, that you wanted. Because if you have a higher view, then you can avoid some things, I feel like. So, a higher view. It says, seeing from a higher perspective, conscious neutrality, letting go of judgment and assumptions, non-attachment, the ability to remain unbiased. See there, that's a lot of growth and maturity in that. Can, can you really say that somebody here who you was in love with that, or a situation that you had some type of emotional attachment to, if you had to let it go, could you really genuinely wish it well and just free it? And let's say, let's say this is a person, because that's the only thing that's really going to trigger you. Let's say you let your person go, you and your person split up, because it didn't work out with you, or they didn't do right by you, but you see them out with somebody else. Could you still wish them happiness? <laughs> I'm just asking, I'm just saying, because that's, that's, that's how life be throwing things at you. So a higher view, but it puts you, so, it puts you in the power. Look at her, she is riding it. She is commanding this 
owl of this massive bird to do her bidding here. So it's almost like you have, you have spiritual, what is, is this an owl? What does the owl represent? It represents seeing things. Wait a minute, I'm going to find out. Hold on. Give me a moment. Let's see. Because she's riding on top of a freaking, it's an owl. You can look how wide the face is. It looks like an owl. Wow, that's big. Or is it an ego? What is this? Look how wide the face is. What is this, y'all? Is this an eagle? Or is this an owl? I'm going to say. I'm going to say. I'm going to say eagle. I'm going to say owl. It look like an owl. Spiritual meaning for owl. According to Mind Body Green, in Native American culture, Owls are believed to serve as a bridge between worlds, life and the afterlife. Kristen adds, owls are eternal teachers. Teacher, see? It is, see, like I said, you're riding it, so it's like the gap, it's, it's something, you got a mediator. This is the, this, this is the in-between to help you discern from worlds here, from what your eyes, your physical eyes is telling you, but what is, what, what is really spiritually taking place. Because a lot of times we get caught up in what we see and that could make or break us, but is it really what we see? Are we seeing it from a higher view of spiritual perspective here? Now let me see, uh, let me see, I said owl. Let me say ego, what is the ego? Just in case it's the ego. Spiritual meaning for ego. Let's say ego. According to Eva Baroni, a... Spiritual meaning for ego. According to As Animals, spirit animal means that you are strong and influential. If the eagle is your spirit animal, you have a strong spirit. See? Well, either way it go, you got a strong spirit or you got an in-between mediator that's helping you. So see, you're not alone in a way. But, but you got to cultivate it. You got to put that time in so when spirit is showing you things, you, you know what you see. So it says sometimes our lives are suction cup to the ends of our noses and we can't see beyond ourselves. This happened to even once in a while, we fall into an automatic response to life and react from a learned conditioned place rather than one of awareness. Being in reactivity keeps us repeating old patterns. Conversely, the avoidance of our triggers could keep us in our comfort zone, polic policing our attempts at new things. The way to be successful in your endeavor, Scorpio, to connect with others is to step out of your sticky perception of the world. Imagine yourself sitting on the back of a bird a thousand feet above your life. Wouldn't your perspective change? From a higher point of view, you can see for miles. You could let go of naming or blaming the obstacles in the way and instead easily discover a path to more beautiful and compelling vistas. See? The world is wide open for you today, Scorpios. All you have to do is move to higher ground, be mindful, and celebrate the spectacle of life's dance, because that's all it is. See, it's like Spirit is steady trying to take the burden of the challenges of this world, because Spirit is telling you it's all a test. If you look at it from a higher perspective, then you'll understand you win anyway. Now you got beyond the ordinary. Let's, let's move on through, beyond the ordinary here. And this is thought. It says spiritually, ego transcendence, liberation, God consciousness, understanding, and wisdom. So now we're going into your mental. So you had emotional, and you had spiritual. Now you got mental. So it says the mystical, ineffable part of life Trusting in the invisible world without understanding it, recognizing that some things cannot be known in advance and are not meant to be grasped intellectually. The awareness that everything is as it should be, even if it doesn't make sense. Mm. No matter how hard you try to understand why some things happen or how or when it will happen, now is the time to surrender to not knowing. Ooh. The mystery is a mystery 
because it is at present unknowable and as yet unmade. Ooh, you hear that? Because you are the co-creator. That's what Spirit's saying. Why you want to know about the future when you're the one that create the future? See? Wow, you see that? Ooh, wow. Let me say it again. The mystery is a mystery because it is at present right now unknowable and as yet unmade. What is waiting for you lies beyond the ordinary, but it has not yet chosen its shape, its path, and the manner by which it will be delivered. Your job, Scorpio, is to stay the course, allowing whatever comes to be exactly as it will without trying to ascertain anything in advance. See, that's like Spirit saying, look, just calm down, Spirit. Baby, you're biting off more than you could chew. Don't take nobody's burden. Find peace, find a common ground. Stop panicking. Everything ain't out to get you. It's all a part of your journey here. Just relax and just go with the flow and stop saying you trust me, but you gotta know the outcome. Stop saying you trust me, but you wanna know when they gonna show up, <laughs> what they gonna be wearing, what they gonna say when they come, what they gonna look like, is it gonna last forever? <laughs> Spirit say, nope, you don't get to do that because you're gonna miss something. If you knew everything was gonna happen, a lot of chances and a lot of opportunities you would not take, and that's part of your destiny too. See, sometimes you don't need to know because us as humans, we're gonna respond to it. You know we are, even the best of us. We find out that we got somebody here, we're gonna be out there trying to look for them. <laughs> you know you're gonna be out there looking. You're like, well, Spirit did say somebody coming. Maybe that's them, are you him? <laughs> Spirit say, child, stop. <laughs> Oh, snap. All right, Spirit. What's going on in Scorpio's love life? See, Spirit, is this Spirit trying to tell you how to get it? How you're not, rel how you're not uh, anxious. Don't be anxious. Don't step out because I feel like what Spirit is saying is when something is supposed to happen, you're not going to have to chase it. You're not going to have to scratch your head about it. It's going to happen comfortably. And you're going to know it because it's going to be showing you. It's when people are not saying and doing where, where it's questionable. But when it's for you and when it's divine timing, it's going to pursue you. Think about all the relationships that you've been in and they pursued the crap out of you. All right. I'm talking about really, really put forth that effort because they were into you. Well, that's how it's got to be. Especially when you find yourself... Uh, when you start pursuing something, you find opposition, it's time to pull it back. That's what Spirit is saying. And just keep on, keep on moving, but just trust that it's all coming together in the end. See, you're the co-creator. You gotta, you gotta create what you want. All right, Spirit, <laughs> thank you for your messages. <laughs> now let's see what's going on for Scorpios. Spirit, show me Scorpios. My beautiful, amazing Scorpios and this beautiful, amazing day. Scorpios, Scorpios. Scorpio. All right. This is a general, by the way. It's not going to resonate for everyone. It's okay. So whoever is for, good for you. The lovers. Did I, is that red? Overall energy is the lovers with the freaking king of cups, child. Here y'all go with the sentimental. It's only when it gets to mental, mental. Could be dealing with the Gemini here. Choices and decisions here. Like I said here, I feel like Cupid did not already chose for somebody here. This person I already know because who, who they looking at, see? They looking at you. Yeah, that's right, God dang it. I'm the reader. They looking at you. See, look who they looking at. That's water energy. <laughs> that's probably a fire sign. They saying, look here, you already know. You already know how that Scorpio cup hit, and you already know how you feel. That's the way I feel about you. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't you like that real love? Keep in remembrance of what it feels like to really be in love. And you ain't got to be in love with nobody, but at least stay in that high vibe and energy here, Scorpios, because that's what's going to attract it to you. Don't hang up. Don't, don't hold on to the, to the negative parts. And I know there, there's, 
They, they loud, ain't they? They always do this when y'all out here, Scorpios. They be trying to put on the show for you. The crickets, the outdoor nature be naturing for you, Scorpios. Scorpio loves your music. Thank you, nature. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, you got somebody here who, it could be somebody here trying to make up their mind. See? Look at them. Page of Swords. There they go. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Gemini energy. See? Huh? So somebody's checking you out. Now, it could be some of you masculines checking out somebody here, and it could just be you, you know, taking your time to see, you know, you may be seeing multiple people, and you're knowing that you could, you're seeing, trying to find out who is the right fit for you, you know, with this lover's card, because look at he looking like, mm. But I feel like, I feel like, I feel like spiritually, you know your type. You know what you want. You know what you want. Or maybe you're going to feel spiritually led to someone here. You could be trying to figure out who is the best person for you. And you could be checking out somebody, too. You could be checking out somebody. You could already be checking out somebody. here. You could have multiple people who you're trying to figure out who, who is the best fit for you. And then you could just have somebody here or you masculines could be looking at somebody like, wow, I really feel a connection with this person. I am attracted to them. I want to know more about them. See, they go to eight of wands. Mm. I see the queen of wands, but let me keep shuffling. I see all of this. Justice. <laughs> so this is something somebody wants to communicate. I'm going to drink some water. I can't believe it. Don't come out now, son. You're not supposed to come out. I mean, I can't tell the sun not to come out because it is a beautiful thing, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Knight of Cups, there they go. Cancel Scorpio and Pisces. I want to do another reading outside. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Scorpio? Now, somebody's going to offer their cup of love to you. Now, like I said, it could be you male Scorpio's been checking out somebody and you want to offer some. Look, they go to Ace of Pentacles, see? Ooh, and they go to Ten of Cups. Mm. I heard that. Hmm. Somebody ready to settle down. Ooh, shuck it, shuck, shuck, shuck. Ooh, say what, what, what? The Empress, no wonder. So somebody is amazed at you. Ooh, and they go to freaking Empress. Y'all, I can't, I don't know why. This, I feel like somebody's, honey, I'm hooked. Right on your love. Come on, let me show you who, cause there are no words that can't express the way I feel now. And I want you to know I need you in my life. I need to scope yo, I really do, my love is true. I need you in my life. Hi. Ooh, my God, I feel a drop. Let me hurry up with my singing ass. <laughs> oh, snap, I felt it. God dang, that empress showing up. I already see how you looking over there at that empress. Ooh, you got somebody coming in here that's very strong, soulmate connection. Maybe somebody from your past. Somebody here who is a good catch. Nine of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. Ooh, let's see what's going on here. Somebody's going to come offer that cup of love to you, Scorpio. I feel like somebody in love. I feel like somebody is in love with you, honey. Now, for you male Scorpios, I see you approaching somebody. I feel like you may really have found someone here who you may be attracted to or you're about to run into somebody, somebody who, who is very, very passionate, very attractive. And this is going to have you looking at them like, you know, maybe it's time for me to, you know, settle down and build something. You got the Ten of Cups, the Empress, and the freaking Emperor Scorpios. And you got that nine of pentacles. I feel like, 
I feel like somebody's trying to give up their player card, their single card. Let's hurry up. I heard some lightning. Oof. It said it wasn't going to start till later on tonight, but maybe I've been talking too much. Let's see. Let's start off with the lover's card, Gemini energy. You got Gemini, uh, Libra, Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You got the King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn with the Ace of Pentacles, the Seed of Nine of Pentacles, Leo, Sagittarius with the Eight of Wands. All right, Spirit, what's up with this lovers for Scorpio? Why is the lovers here? It's for the lover in you. Future here. Somebody's waiting. Somebody sees a future here. Someone is planning here. Somebody's waiting for something to come again. See? The freaking emperor. The emperor is planning something. Some of y'all dealing with an Aries. Some of y'all dealing with a boss. Some of y'all dealing with this wise, uh, wise uh, person here who uh, is in control, who's doing very good for themselves here. And somebody's looking for that type. Somebody's looking for the right connection. Somebody's looking to fall in love, I feel like. All right, spirit, the lovers. Somebody's looking for a partnership because I see that three of pentacles. See, somebody's looking to work things out. Put in their work. Somebody's looking for a partnership is what I feel like. Somebody who they can really build and grow with. With this ace of pentacles, see? Somebody said, baby, I'm coming home every night. God dang it. <laughs> I ain't going to eat on no food truck. I ain't going to stop on the way. This somebody here who ain't going to they, they ain't stepping out. See, now this is the energy where the masculine is in love with the feminine because you got the king of cups. And the only feminine energy is the only energy that you need, and that's the empress. So it's almost like there's no competition. This masculine is going to let their feminine do her thing, and they're just going to support her. Ooh, now you got the king of cups. Spirit, what's up with the king of cups for Scorpio? King of cups, the fool, Aries energy. Y'all must be dealing with an Aries here. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Truth Revealer 33. Um, maybe there's somebody here who, uh, let's see, somebody here who's ready to take a leap of, somebody who's ready to open up their heart. Maybe that's what that uncaged is. I feel like somebody's ready to open up now. Take this leap of faith, do it here. Two of Swords here, because I feel like somebody here was afraid or didn't want to see it. Libra, Gemini, Gemini and Aquarius. They got the King of Swords. Oof. King of Cups, somebody's ready to show you that they love you. I've just seen a King of Swords. See? Can't make it up. The Empress, see? <laughs> Ooh, talk that talk, Daddy. <laughs> Somebody talking that talk. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, see there? Because somebody say they done met they match here. And I feel like you probably doing your own thing. You just you just building your own kingdom here and they all behind you talking about some psst, 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 psst. Look at him. He looking at you. Whoever this person is, they're looking at you. But you're not giving them your attention here. That's the only problem. You know, you may not be giving somebody your attention because you're like, uh-uh, I had been through, I had to go through a whole lot just to get here. And I'd be god dang if I'm gonna come off my throne to address any mess. But I feel like they're going to come to you very, very humble and very, very loving. And they're going to put something on your Scorpio mind. Now, if it's for you male Scorpios, maybe you need to up your, 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 your suave game. Because you may be dealing with a bad one here. And, 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 and depending on how you come at her, it's going to determine if you get her. Okay? Uh, she probably be like, look, I didn't play too many games. So if you're looking for somebody here who you feel like has a lot of substance, then you got to be exactly what, what you think she is. You got to be in your power. You got to be that. You can't come. You can't go go wrong because, like, I feel like feminists are tired. All right, Page of Swords. What's up with this Page of Swords for Scorpios? What is this watching? What is this observing here? The moon. Somebody's secretly watching you. Yeah, they're secretly watching you. Somebody here is probably checking you out, you know, checking out what you got going. See? Ooh, 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 ooh. And they want to say something to you, baby. They hey, want to say something to you, baby. <laughs> oh, 
snap page of ones, two of cups. Somebody checking you out, baby. They feel that connection here. I feel like it scares them when they see you, Scorpio. I feel like this is a feeling here that somebody fantasizes. It's like you're very alluring to them. Your energy is drawing them in because it is a spiritual lure. You got the lover's card and you got the two of cups, okay? And you got the king of cups. So this is somebody here who is definitely in love. Now you got the eight of wands, honey. Fast moving energy, fast momentum, picking up pace, uh, travel, communication here, other things. All right, spirit, eight of wands for Scorpio. Why is the eight of wands here, spirit? You may be about to get some communication coming in. Now somebody here can't get you off their mind. Somebody's ready to take a seat. Somebody, they can't keep their eyes off of you. See there? There they go again, Scorpio, page of swords. See there, and there go the star card. Somebody feels like you're everything to them. Could be an Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. They could be looking at you like you are marriage material now. You got the Ten of Cups. You got the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Two of Cups. You got the Three of Pentacles. So this is somebody here with the Three of Wands see a future as the Emperor because you got the Three of Wands, the Emperor, and the Three of Pentacles with the lovers. So someone feels this connection with you. And they like it. They like it a lot. They like it. Somebody loves this connection that they feel. This is why they can't stop watching you or they can't stop talking about you. Now, for somebody, this person may can't keep your name out their mouth because they just so into you. They just want to tell somebody. You got the page of swords twice. So you got the eight of wands, page of swords. I feel like this person's running their mouth about you, okay? In a good way. Somebody is, somebody is a hopeless romantic. And you may not even be paying this person any attention. Oh, it must be Wednesday. A moment. Got Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Libra, Aries, Pisces, Libra, Aries. They're going crazy, don't they? All right, ten of one, eight of one. Somebody been talking about you. There's somebody telling their friends about you, Scorpio. Like I said, it's a lot of talk been going on, but it's a good talk. Somebody's like, you know how you do something so good, you got to tell somebody? This is what it is. They like, man, I got me. I found one. I just can't stop thinking about Somebody cannot stop thinking about you. See? Three of ones, see? Eight of ones, see? I told you, somebody talking, see? Eight of ones, see? Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, The Star, Eight of Wands. Somebody just cannot stop talking about you. I bet they like, God damn, yeah, yeah, let us, let us, let us, let us figure it out. Let us guess. You seen Scorpio today. Scorpio's your everything. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Is that what we're doing today again, man? <laughs> they tired of hearing about you. <laughs> they tired of hearing about you, Scorpio. <laughs> but they can't help it. Knight of Cups, Cancel Scorpio and Pisces here. Mm. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups is judgment. Somebody said they finna go for this love. Somebody said, you know what? I've had the spiritual awakening here. I feel so connected here. Somebody's listening to their intuition here because somebody don't want to lose you, Scorpio. See, that could be a, a high priest. could be a Pisces here. All right, spirit. Somebody's having a, a major spiritually awakening. Spirit, somebody's having a major epiphany or awakening about you. Somebody's feeling this about you. See, look at the high priest. See, somebody feels spiritually led to you. See, like I say, you got the lover's card. You got the two of cups. See, somebody feels feels spiritually led to you, Scorpio. They feel like it's deeper. They can't, they drawn to you. They don't know why. I feel like this, I feel like you got somebody that's in love and they're not going to give up. See, nine of swords. Tell your spirit and leading somebody to you. Somebody not going to get no rest till they do it. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, it's like
Great Spirit ringing the Scorpio dinner bell, and they better get up and come get this love. God dang it, and they've been trying to ignore it, but every time they go to sleep, look, 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 look. you see this, don't you? Look, look, look what Spirit's been doing to this person here, so it could be somebody that you know. Look, judgment, the high priestess, and the nine of swords. This is all this person do. Spirit is showing this person you, 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 you. You, 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 you is what Spirit is trying to show this person here. Mm-mm. This is deep. Taurus Pisces here. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, what Spirit is showing this person. It don't matter what they do. This person can't even sleep because you are so in their energy, Scorpio. See? And this is why they are unraveling. This is why their heart is being uncaged. Now they're the king of, somebody's the king of cups to you, honey. Now you got the Ace of Pentacles. Mm-mm. Spirit, why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Scorpios? Ace of Pentacles. Mm. Nine of Pentacles. So this is somebody here who's saying, look at little mom, I got it like that. What? You ain't got to worry about nobody. Ain't nobody. You ain't got to worry about sharing nothing that I got, baby. I'm coming to you to give you the world, see? They go that Knight of Cups, and they go to King of Wands. This is somebody here who coming after you. This is somebody here who, see, they go to Lover's Con. <laughs> They going for what they want. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they coming for you. Cause like I say, they feel a spiritual connection. They go that lover's card again. It could be a Gemini. That's how we started with the lover's card. And now you got the lover's card again. This is somebody here who's saying, look at little mama, I ain't got no baggage. You ain't got to worry about sharing me. You can have all this emperor love to yourself. Ooh. Cause you got the empress twice. And you got the emperor twice, too. See, let me show you. <laughs> the emperor and the empress. This why this person ain't going to get no rest about you. This is a divine connection here. This is supposed to happen. Maybe it's not already happened in another lifetime. But there is a strong deja vu spiritual connection that nobody can shake. Now, it could be somebody that you're dealing with that you just can't shake. They can't shake you. They can't shake you. See? Person sitting here thinking about you, they can't even get no rest, god dang it. See there, the more spirit put this on their heart, the more they want to open up their heart and give you love, Scorpio. That's why you got the King of Cups, honey. And that's the Knight of Cups we just clarified. Like I said, somebody that met their spiritual match. Somebody sees you. Like I said, that's why they're always watching you. They're always bringing your name up. Somebody always talking about you. And they punish like, man, God dang, okay, we get it. You, you ain't when it did nothing, no. I feel like this is what it is. Folks are telling this person, you started telling us about this fabulous Scorpio, but what you going to do about it, man? You know you ain't going to do nothing. And now this person laying around here thinking about everything that everybody done told them. You say this person and you feel a connection with this person and you, this person make you feel alive, but you ain't did nothing. This is why this person coming in. See, cause they shouldn't have been running their mouth. Like I say, everybody, this person been talking to a lot of people about you, Scorpio. You are someone's wish fulfilled. Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Star card. Yeah, you're somebody's wish fulfilled. You're this person's wish fulfilled. Wishes fulfilled. You are their star. They're like, I feel like you're everything to this person. So now you got the Ten of Cups, honey. Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here for Scorpios? Ten of Cups is the magician card. Did you manifest this? Is this what y'all been manifesting? Maybe you've been thinking some good thoughts. Maybe it's them because they sure been thinking about you. Because like I said, underneath the bottom, you got the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. And you got the king of swords. So this is somebody here who probably didn't want to acknowledge that they had feelings. See, like I said in the beginning, can men love? You see how this masculine is fighting love? And you got the king of swords and they got the king of cups. But this person had to have a spiritual awakening. So like I feel like these masculines have been so damaged. And they don't, they try to fit the world standards of masculinity. Where they're not supposed to feel. They're not supposed to hurt. They're not supposed to cry. They're not supposed to react to being hurt because it's not manly. And some of them just carry the grudge on. See, 
But you got this king of swords in the reverse. Look, with the nine of wands, somebody here who was guarded emotionally because they were broken. But this is somebody here whose spirit is telling you, now you know good and god dang well who you, you, you know good and well, Scorpio, is the one for you. See? You want to stay single, you want to do it on your own, or, or, or maybe this is someone here to coming in saying, I have something to offer and I'm willing to work on something with you. Somebody telling you they ain't got no baggages. Maybe someone had other options in the past here because they didn't want to fall in love. Like I say, the more you try to fight it, it's a part of the lessons here. You're going to go through it anyway. The magician card, Pisces energy. I feel like you've been manifesting this or they have been manifesting this. See, a choice, a decision. Someone has been planning and partnering. This is what somebody wants. Ace of Wands, see? This is what somebody wants, Scorpio. Is this what you have been doing? Because this person, you got the three of wands here. I feel like somebody here has been putting this. Got the three of wands right next to the emperor with the three of pentacles. This is someone here who has been manifesting you. And some of you guys have been manifesting for a relationship like this. So for some of you guys, this is somebody that you don't know. And for some of you guys, this is somebody here who hid their feelings. But like I said, they, they couldn't escape it. They couldn't escape the lesson that's attached to it. And the lesson that's attached to it is that they needed to heal, I feel like, because you got the star card. I feel like somebody needs to heal because they were dysfunctional. Like I said, most of these masculines, they, they gonna give you some old dry karmic love if they haven't did their own spiritual shadow work. It's just gonna carry on and you're gonna take somebody else through it and you're gonna make another feminine be hateful and resentful and all those things like that here. So you got the, see the king of swords in the verse C? Cause spirit is saying this is, this is what this, I feel like this is somebody here for you, for you Scorpios who know, got a connection with somebody like this. This is somebody here who has fought this. Should they stay single or should they try to come back and work things out? This is somebody here who may have had to decide with their two of ones, which direction do they want to take? Because they know coming in your direction, you ain't playing. They know what you want. <laughs> They say, if you, if you kiss me, we go together. Okay, you might as well go on and give me the key or let, let's wipe her hubby up. So it's almost like they already know what comes with dealing with you because you're so deep like that. Or do they want to remain in this selfish, you know, all about themselves energy? I feel like this is their, this is what has, what has been in the way. See, because they need to heal. See how they blocking it? Toxic energy, negative energy. See, this has been their problem. Do I stay single or do I go back? Because I know what I'm going to go back into. They're coming back to you the right way, Scorpios. This, this is what Spirit is saying. This is why they're in the emperor. But it took them going through it. Though somebody had to, like I said, I feel like somebody may have talked to someone. Maybe someone gave them some better advice here. Because this person, whatever was told to them, they ain't been able to go to sleep. It is taunting them. And it is showing them what they need to see. Now somebody's looking at their own problem. Somebody didn't want to acknowledge this. See? Somebody didn't want to acknowledge it. They refused to see what was right before their eyes. See there? They was refusing to see what was right before their eyes because they were the problem. See? They was refusing to see what right was before their eyes because they were the problem. They were selfish. See? Nine of Wands and the King of, King of Wands in the reverse. They were the ones with the problem because they needed to heal. So like I said here, now this person is ready to come in and offer you emotions because the very thing that they tried to avoid and ignore like it didn't matter or like it really wasn't there, they're feeling it now because they are in love themselves. And that's on point blank period. See there? Now that love's taking over you, what will you do now? Ba 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 ba. <laughs> oh, snap! When love calls, you better answer. And I feel like this is somebody about to answer this love call because they can't take it no more. It's not going away. It's not going away. And if this is someone new then that just means that someone really had to heal and learn some lessons and grow up. And because they had a cycle of doing the same thing, they wasn't opening up their heart because they were broken. They were uh, blocking, blocking. Their heart was caged and their heart needed to be uncaged because it would have been beautiful. Now I see something beautiful. I see the emperor and the empress 
in the Ten of Cups energy, having a beautiful long-term relationship is what I see or the potential of. So now you have the Empress Libra. You got Empress, Empress, Emperor, Emperor. So you know they can't, see it's like, you could tell that for whoever this is for, this is supposed to be. Because the kind of connection that I see, they're not gonna find this anywhere else. Everybody has their own unique connection, but this was supposed to help somebody. Because it's like they were so broken and so damaged here, they didn't know a good thing when they saw it. See, they didn't know it. Somebody was going to sleep and they had the bag, they had the whole bag in their presence the whole time. So now you got the Empress again. Spirit, what's up with the Empress? Spirit, why is the Empress? Mm-hmm, the Empress, ha! <laughs> Ten of Cups. I saw the hangman here. Four Wands, no, give me the Empress Spirit. Ten of Cups, I saw the Four Wands. I feel like somebody's trying to raise it up. Six of Coins. Now they want to be generous. Now they want to give to you. Now, like I said, now somebody here, see? The world card here, new opportunity. Because it's like spirit is giving somebody a new opportunity at love again. Spirit is giving somebody a new opportunity in love again after they've undergone some major transformation and some major healing in their life. See, now you got the emperor. Aries, spirit, why is the emperor here? The emperor, the three of cups. Like I said, for some of y'all, this person, you're going to end up dating this person, but I see it moving on. See, Knight of Pentacles. They go to Queen of Cups. Ooh, snup, snup, snup. For some of y'all, maybe there was a Queen of Wands. Or maybe you're the Queen of Wands. But like I said, somebody wants to come. Like I said, if this is somebody you don't know, you're going to start, you may start dating a boss. And I feel like it's gonna grow to something else. All right, Spirit, the Emperor. Five of Cups, so if this is somebody here that you have a history with, or this person may have had a lot of regrets in their life. So this is why they're coming in, see? Ace of, Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, see? Somebody, see, somebody coming back with an Ace of Pentacles opportunity with you, Scorpio. Six of Cups. Like I said, I feel like this is somebody here who maybe, if it's somebody you're dealing with, somebody here you took a break from because maybe you got tired of the mind games. Maybe you got tired of them ignoring, not seeing your worth here. But they clearly see it now because you got the emphasis, but your back is to this person. So now this person been out here talking about you and trying to get advice. They watching you, they stalking you. And now I feel like somebody is coming back to you to make things right. Now it's up to you whether or not you want it. Cause like I say, somebody is definitely returning to you, but they're not the same person. They're not the same person for whoever this is for. This person is not the same person, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio? They're not the same. Two of Pentacles. What else for Scorpios? Four of Wands. Could have been somebody juggling whether or not to do this or they go to the Magician card. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out how to do it. You got that Magician card twice, Pisces energy, see? And they go to Nine of Pentacles. Like I said, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Cups. So this is somebody who was trying to figure out, do they come and do this relationship? Do, are they ready to settle down? Or are they, because this person knows if they come back to you, it's going to be a relationship. Or do they want to stay single and do their own thing, Scorpios? But I feel like this person is trying to make it happen. And I feel like they did make it happen. For somebody, they coming, because you got the Ten of Cups, the Magician. They're manifesting this. But I feel like at first, this person didn't know what they wanted. But I feel like somebody had to find out the hard way, Scorpio, that Cause I feel like the ancestors, I feel like this person been taunted by your energy. All because they tried to act like your love was not valid and your love was not worthy. Now they see you, Scorpios, and now they want it back. For somebody here who you, who you know, for somebody who you don't know, they're ending something. They have, to, have made a change and they were toxic once upon a time because they've been hurt and now they've been enlightened 
somebody, you caught somebody's eye and now you give them hope to want to love again. And this person gonna come in showing you Scorpios, but this is your reading, your outside with brown eyes love reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye Scorpios.